Welcome to another Sunday morning Eddy Current action video from eddycurrent.com. Today we'll be inspecting three aluminum aircraft panels, multi layer connected by flush mounted fasteners. Now, the reason I chose this particular tester is out of the five or six or seven or eight that I tested, this tester was the easiest to set up and switch between panels at excellent signal to noise ratio and could easily find all the flaws that I was after. So this one to make one video and do three panels, it was just easier. So the probe I'm using is a sliding probe operated in the driver pickup or reflection mode. Operating range of this probe from ZTEC is one to a hundred kilohertz. I'm driving this probe at 8 kilohertz and 2 kilohertz the Waygate Mentor EM which is this tester uh, I'm operating dual frequency so channel uh, channel 1 is 8 kilohertz and on the right we have 2 kilohertz so I'm just going to scan the top row and the top row let me take a look at it the top row is actually three layers of aluminum I'm just going to put my probe on and I'm going to hit balance and I'm just going to scan a couple to see where my phases are at. I'm just going to bring this one up a little bit. I didn't set up for any procedure. I'm just kind of roughly dial it in here just to show you what this tester can do. So I'm going to scan from right to left. This is the three layers. Oh, see that one? That sticks up nice. See the phase leg on that? It's measurable. I would say it's substantial. This is a crack between fasteners. Um, it's either the second layer or third layer. Can I see it from the back? Nope, so it's the second layer. Right there, second layer crack in between fasteners. Now I'm gonna be scanning the bottom row and this will be two layers. Now I have to take care to try to keep my center line of my slide probe over the top of that second row of fasteners. It's in the dark, Sunday morning. Ideally, I'd be using alarms. See, I got off my row right there. Now, I didn't see anything stick up vertical there, right? But if you have a surface crack, you're not going to have as much phase lag associated with it. So that thing that jets off to the right or to the left right there, right there, that is a crack in between two rivets on the lower row there. You can probably see it right about there. I can't even see it. I think it's right there. It's either there or there. We need to talk to the lighting guy. There it is, right? Right there. I need some AV support on this Sunday morning. Next, we have a lap joint from an F100. Let me take a look at it and see how many layers we got going on here. We have got one, two, three layers. And the, the middle row is the thickest, which has three layers. And then the top and bottom row, if you look from the back, the top and bottom row will be two layers. So the first thing I'm going to do is scan the top row from right to left. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to start upside down and start from the right to left on the first row of rivets this will be two layers i'm just kind of scanning along the first time here just to get a feel for where my noise is at and all that i 
All right, so this one has a flaw there. I'm on the right end of the panel. There it is. And then about halfway down the panel, I've got that one. These are both cracks in between fasteners in the second layer. So now we're going to go to the middle row, which is right here. That's going to be the thickest portion. That's this row of rivets. And let me see here. I'm not sure if this one has any or not. I guess we're going to find out, huh? Scanning back this time. I don't think there's any in that middle row. And then lastly, I'm going to do the other row. And again, this is going to be only two thick, two layers. Oh, where is my row of rivets? Right here. Again, it's the dark, and I'm trying to keep my probe. Trying to keep my probe on the row of rivets. Scanning, scanning away. Have you guys seen in there? This is like a two man job today. there that is I'll turn this thing over that's that appears to be the first layer crack underneath some paint because of the low phase lag. So did I do all three rows? I think I did. Right there. All right, so that takes care of that panel. And then the last one I got from US Air. Thank you, Rusty Jones. This particular panel has only two layers so I'm going to start off on the right end this one I'm going to adjust the phase down a little bit here just to keep them kind of kind of the same phase angle now one of these I might have my vertical gain a little bit hotter probably the one on the left let's hit the old balance button that didn't do it Again, I got to take care to keep pressure on my probe. I can see here I'm going to have to take this one over a little bit. Rebalance. Uh -oh. All right. On the left there, we got some action. Let's try this again right here. Trying to hit that same area again. Oh. Nah, that's just uh, that's just contour right there. Initially, looking at the this is on the left, I thought that might have been one, but it's just the, it's the contour of the plate with the paint here too. So that would be a false positive if it was anything. Now that one, whoa. Nobody's going to miss that one. Hopefully. So that will be on the second layer. Notice the phase lag. 
And then next I'm going to scan the bottom row of rivets. Going from right to left. Oh, see that one there? See, you know, that huge trajectory going to the left there, you might think you're off the edge of the plate, but what that is, it's a crack open to the surface on the first layer right here. And the other one with the OD phase, that one was on the back side here. So there you go, that's three panels, one tester, one probe, not too much variation in between the setups, and it easily pulled all of the flaws um, out so you could see them and report them to the client, keep everybody safe. All right, thanks for watching.